because I've got really strong words and really, I don't know why I was involved, not involved in this game. Because Athletic Club at minus 116, a host in Batiste at plus 338. I'm, I'm close to doing a live bet because Athletic Club's players strut around with no urgency. They play as individuals and they've lost that type of togetherness that I'm thinking... How has this been allowed? It's almost like they've got too big for their boots because they know that the players won't come in, so they know they can't get rid of the players, and Batiste are on the up. I was so close to taking the plus 338. Maybe the double chance at minus 105. Pavlos, Athletic Club, versus Batiste. Uh, although I did say some good words about Betis, uh, you know, a couple of minutes ago. You're taking them uh, back. It's a... Yeah, because uh, they're they're on the road, and f- mm. for whatever reason, I don't, I'm not really sure what's the reason. Uh, they suck on the road. They're yeah. just uh, not as good. Of course, you know, one obvious reason is the lack of home advantage. Uh, because when you have, I don't know, 30, 40, 50 thousand people screaming for you, then you get an extra. You know, all your stats go up, or your your psychology goes up. You you feel different. You feel better. Um, that doesn't apply to all players, though. Some players find it very intimidating to play in front of their own yeah. fans. That's why we see some teams uh, doing better on the road. But Betis are clearly a home side team, a home team. Uh, they don't do well on the road, and they haven't uh, done very well on the road in the last two, three, maybe four seasons. Um, again, I'm going to say they get a lot of cards. Their their mindset, uh, they get you know head, their head space is not in the right uh, in the right space. You know, uh, they're they're just uh, shutting down on the road. Uh, and Bilbao at home, always hard to beat. Uh, but in this occasion, you know, I'm just looking at the stats and Bilbao, they've scored uh, twice as many goals as they should have. They have 10 actual goals, uh, mm. but 5.9 expected goals. Uh, expected goals against, they considered 5 out of 5.3. So it's on track, but uh, they're getting lucky. That tells me that they're getting lucky with the goals and um, the fact that they had a theoretically easy schedule with uh, uh, Espanol, uh, Sevilla, Celta Vigo, um, tells me that, yeah, maybe they scored a couple of goals more than they should have. But Betis on the road, they're always tight. They might not win easily, but they don't lose easily. And when they do... It's uh, usually by one to nil, two to nil, something like that. So it's okay. it's kind of tight. Not really sure where to go with this one. I don't. Uh, I wouldn't take Bilbao money line here. Maybe a no. draw. I don't really know. I don't okay. know. This 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 is not a very good match. Yeah, but mm. the numbers are massive for the away side. If you've actually mm-hmm. watched, I agree on that. Athletic Club. The number's too big on Batiste, who are on the up. Uh, and this is a side that we were saying that they're not getting what they deserve or they seem to be disjointed. But recently, they seem to have sewn together, Paco. Yeah, actually, the last time they disappointed the whole world was the last time uh, mm. some guy over in Valencia decided it was a good idea to bet on them in the civilian derby. I got burned <laughs> by Betis. <laughs> But uh, I believe I would get even burnt by Athletic Club. Uh, I don't know what is going on with them this season. I don't know what is happening with uh, Monday games, especially Monday games mm. for them. Uh, but they are not looking at the same, you know, sharp, uh, pinpoint, accurate level they showed last season. And many, many points have slipped away from their grasp whenever, especially whenever they play at home. So um, I always try to look for value. If I went for the, you know, easy picks, uh, I think we wouldn't be able to recoup some of the uh, hit and misses we've gotten so far this season. And uh, obviously, Betty's money line, if there is any Betty's out there. Uh, could be a chance. The draw, I think, is massive. It could also be uh, an interesting, uh, you know, bet. But I decided to go with the draw no bet for Betis. Ultimately, you know, if we have a draw, uh, that's too bad and, and uh, I don't really lose anything. But if Betis uh, manages to get a win, I'm on the plus side of things. So, ultimately, I think it's... Uh, they have shown that they are on the up, on, on the up as you guys said. They are on the rise. They have been improving slowly but steadily. They beat Osasuna on the road, which isn't easy. Barca fell there. They beat Betis at home. They managed to draw against Copenhagen. They play in a couple of uh, minutes, in 15 minutes, against Hevora in Copa del Rey, which shouldn't be an issue because it's uh, like a fifth-year uh, side and Betis are going to play. They have shown the lineup with all of the bench players. So all of their starters are going to be in tip-top shape against Athletic Club. So Betis draw no bet. 
in order to extract some value from this game. But if I was feeling like it, you know, why not uh, bet his money line? Because I think that a plus three, three eight for a team which is looking much better and improving quite a lot. And actually, I was checking out the standings, and they are sixth on the table. Sneaky. Uh, yeah, very sneaky. I think that mm. out of the last four match days, they've won four games, uh, three games out of the last four. And that has allowed them, uh, you know, nine points. They bounced straight from mid-tier, low-tier side straight into European contenders. So this is definitely one of those clashes. Whoever wins this game or whoever does better this game, they are going to be one of the top picks uh, for European spots. And I don't know why I feel like Betis are looking a bit better than Athletic Club. Yeah, I think that Betis, they're almost mirroring Nottingham Forest in the Premier League. You don't realise how well they just go from game to game, picking up these results, and you're like, oh, they won this week. And then you realise that they've been winning for the last three or four, and you look at the table, and there they are in the top six. Let's have a little look how? at the... Effect. Yeah, exactly. How it how. happened. Yeah, exactly. They got nine points for a win. Um, OK, we've gone with Batiste. A draw no bet at plus 210. Like that, because you can have plus 100 on double chance as well. 